Hello, I'm Des Dealer. Welcome to the Thinkers 50 studio in central London. My guest today is Peter Fisk, author of Game Changers. Are you ready to change the world? Peter, welcome. Thank you. So tell me about the new book. What was the genesis for this book? Well, I guess when I look at the world today, it's an incredibly vibrant but volatile world. It's kind of complex, but it's crazy at the same time. And it's a bit like a, a kaleidoscope of change when you look at it. You can see so many different things every different way you look at it. And you know, if you think about this decade we're in, where you know, the global GDP will grow from 57 billion to 90 billion in just 10 years, that's enormous. And it's not just an extrapolation, it's a complete maelstrom, a mix-up of new things happening. And what I feel is that there's a new generation of companies who are emerging out of that shake-up. And these, and are, I, the, these are the game changers? That, that's what I call the game changers. And they are people who are changing the game. And you know, they, they, they look from the outside in. They define markets in their own vision. They grasp their own space and say, that's the space I'm going to occupy in the world. And I'm going to shape that and I'm going to create new rules for that. And then I'm going to create the inside of my business in response to that. So it creates like a new context for your company. And then everything from your business model through to your brand, your social media, through to your sustainability, you can do within that new space. But you can do it more powerfully and you can do it on your terms, not on somebody else's. OK, so give us, give us some examples of companies that are doing this. Well, I guess, you know, Apple is a, a quite a traditional one today. Yeah. But, you know, it's not just about thinking big companies. It's also small companies all around the world. Um, and, you know, I look at people from Alibaba to Zero Zero. Zero Zero is a fantastic Hong Kong-based uh, clothing company. And they, they look at prosumers, so people who have an intention to buy something and uh, put in their request, if you like, so they understand the potential for a market before they actually make their product. Or you might look at you know, AirAsia, who's got an incredibly focused strategy with a virtual organization. Or you might look at somebody like Zipcars, where they've changed the business model so you don't hire a car per day or per week, you're hired per minute or per kilometer. And so all these companies are changing the game in different ways. And they're kind of like the speedboats. They're zipping in and out of the world today, riding the waves of change. They're not the super tankers who are stuck on one steady course and find it incredibly hard to change. OK, so what is the big takeaway then from the book for managers? And of course, some of these managers will be on board those super tankers too. Um, fair enough, they might be in the, in the new startups, yeah. the little speedboats too. So what, what can managers everywhere take away from your book? I, I guess number one is you need to start making sense of the outside world. So it's not enough to live in your own little vacuum and to do the things which you've always, always done. The winning companies today are ideas companies. They're not companies who rely upon their, their heritage and their capabilities. They're the ones who capture the zeitgeist. They connect with people today and they connect with the growth markets today. And then you've got to be not just an ideas company, but an ideas and networks company, because you've got to use your partners, your business partners, and all these networks of consumers across the world to say, how can I reach people? How can I add richness to those people? And through collaboration, how can you do more for people in perhaps a different way? And you know, if you grab all of those different things together in your space which you own, this new space, this, this space which you've created in your vision, then you can be much more successful. I believe you can be what I call a, an audacious company, a company who you know, makes life better for people and a company who could potentially change the world. Peter Fisk, thank you very much. Thank you. You see how those become the messages each time you're... you're